Dr. Reichard, thank you for being so personable. I, I really love listening to you speak at formal events, but what I love more is having personal conversations with you. I appreciate your passion and love for Emory and Henry. We are really going to miss you. Thank you, President Reichard, for the hard work and dedication that you have shown to this college. The first time that I ever came on campus, um, we didn't really know where Martin Brock was and we had to go there. And so my dad just asked this lady on the side of the road. About three days later, at, or, during orientation, I figured out that that was Roz. Um, that was the first time I kind of realized how much she loves Emory and how little she cares that she's the president. She's part of this community and that's what matters. Roz, I just want to thank you so much for all the hard work you put in helping us refound the Hermesian Society. Uh, it wouldn't be back today without everything that you did to get the rooms restored. And I just wanted to let you know, when I'm a rich, famous alumni, I'm going to build a building here and name it after you. Thank you, Roz. President Reichard is a person who I didn't really know on a personal level until this year. I've known her for five years and she's always been really friendly to me and this year because of my role in student government I got to meet with her once a month and even more often and sitting down and speaking with her uh, she's really influenced me uh, I remember when she had an article published by the well an article on her published in the um, Bristol paper, the Tri-Cities paper, and how she was an influential woman in this area. And just reading about her points and then speaking with her on those just really influenced me. Um, the advice and the assistance that I've gotten from her this year is overwhelming and I'm really grateful for all of that too. I would just like to thank the both of you for making me feel welcome on this campus and feel part of this community. Uh, I'll never forget, it was December of 2010, my freshman year, and I, I came to your house for the Christmas dinner, and Don, you opened the door for me, and I'll never forget when you told me what my stats were uh, freshman year. I only played in like three games. I think I had one completion, um, but you knew that, and um, just, I, I think that epitomizes what you guys mean to this campus and what, what you've done in your time here. We're going to miss you. And uh, I look forward to seeing the two of you at some lost football games in the fall. One of my favorite things about Roz is she's the first person you meet um, when you come for orientation. And she's very involved with her students when they first arrive on campus. And then she's the last person you shake hands with when you walk across the stage at graduation. For me, Roz, um, for my first three years here at Emory, has been one that has been that first person I met, one I've been able to work with through my job, one of the people cheering me on at my softball games, and luckily one of the per people, first people to see me when I was crowned homecoming queen. And it's very momental for me to have a college president that's so involved with my success um, on the field, in the classroom, and outside and all the activities I'm involved in. Dr. Reichard, I'd like to thank you for two things, helping me fall in love with this school and bringing Dr. Seuss back into my life. It's been a blessing to know you, and I'd like to leave you with a quote from the good doctor. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Roz. Thank you, Roz. Thank you, Dr. Reichard. Thank you. Thank you, President Reichard. Thanks. You're the best.